This video explains how to import your uniform information into Charms. The Charms Uniform Import Wizard guides you through the process of importing your uniform information into Charms. The process involves several different procedures which we'll cover in this video. First, you'll need to set up your uniform categories in Charms. Next, download the Charms Uniform Template. This file is a spreadsheet to help you put your uniform information in the right order for the import. You must use this file for the import. Once you have downloaded the template, you'll work with that file in Excel to prepare your information. When the information is ready to import, you'll return to the Import Uniform Wizard screen in Charms where you will upload the Excel file, review the data, and finalize the import. Now that you understand the process, let's look at each procedure. If you haven't already done so, you need to set up your uniform categories in Charms. To get to the Uniform Setup screen, first click on the Uniforms icon at the top of the screen. Select the Setup black tab. You may create as many categories as you need. Be somewhat specific with uniform categories because in this area of Charms, the category doubles as the description of the piece. Marching jackets, for example, or spats. Simply enter the name and select Enter Category. Repeat until you have entered the categories you need. You can create more later as the need arises. The list at the bottom shows the categories you have entered so far. You can click on the pencil icon to edit an item name or the red X to delete it. Next, you'll need to go to the Import Uniform Wizard screen to download the template file for your uniform information. To get to this screen, first click on the Uniforms icon at the top of the screen. Select the Import Export black tab. Select Import Uniforms from the list. Click on the Download Template button to save the Charms template to your computer. Your browser will ask whether you want to open or save the file. You should save the file before opening it. Make sure that you don't change the name of the file when you save it. Let's take a quick look at that Excel file. The file consists only of column headers at the top for all of the information that Charms stores for your uniforms. The only columns that are required are the category and the item number. All other columns are optional. Next to each column header is information about the number of characters you can include or what type of data is required for that column. You'll need to get your uniform information into this file. If you don't have an existing database file, just type the information into the spreadsheet. You can either save it as you go, opening and adding data until it is all in there, or you can upload certain groups of pieces as you finish them. Just be sure to start with an empty template when you start the next uniform category. If you do have uniform information in a database file already, an easy way to do this is to view both your uniform file and the Charms uniform template files side by side. You can size each file to take half of your screen like this example. Copy your information into the Charms template one column at a time to get the information in the right order. Make sure that you don't paste the information over the column header in the Charms uniform template file. For the category, make sure to use the same spelling and case as the categories you set up in Charms. For the item number, you can use any numbering system you wish, but we recommend that you use leading zeros to keep the same number of characters for all items. You may also want to include a couple of letters tied to the category itself, like MJ2105 for marching jackets. This is to assist with report sorting, otherwise your list may not be sorted like you want. If you are including optional information, make sure it's in the requested format so that there are no errors with the import. Use the following codes to indicate the condition of your uniform items. New, excellent, good, fair, or poor. To have charms create barcode numbers for your uniform items, leave the barcodes column blank and charms will create numbers for you. If your uniforms have existing barcode numbers you want to use, enter them in this field. You can either type them in or click on the particular cell and scan the barcode. The number should get entered for you. In order to bill students for lost uniform pieces, enter the cost. Do not use dollar signs for any of the amount fields. For assigned to, include the student first and last name in separate columns so that charms can match the information to a student in your system. When the charms uniform template file is ready, make sure to save it with the original file name. If you change the file name, Charms will not be able to import it. Save the file as an Excel 97 to 2003 type and remember where you saved it. Next, you'll need to return to the Uniform Import Wizard screen to upload the file. Select the Browse button. Navigate to the location of the Charms Uniform template file that you saved. 
Select Open. Select Upload File. On the next screen, you can review the information that will be uploaded to Charms. If you have any red text or errors, you need to go back to the Excel file to correct the errors and resave the file, overwriting the old version. Then return to the Import Uniform File Wizard screen and upload the file again. When the data is ready to import, scroll to the bottom of the screen and select Validate Uniform File. This process can take some time if you have a large number of uniform items. Do not click the Validate button twice. Wait for it to finish. On the next screen, you may need to review issues with the import. If so, fix the Excel file, resave, and try again. If all is well, the screen will say, Your data has been validated. Select Import Uniform Data to do the final entry. Congratulations! You've imported your uniform information. The last screen includes links to the uniform screens to perform other uniform-related tasks. Note that you cannot replace or overwrite this data by re-importing it. Any changes will need to be made from within the CHARM system on the individual uniform screens. However, you can import additional uniform items at any time by repeating the process with new information, starting with an empty template. Be sure to check out our library of videos for help with other CHARM's office procedures.